Welcome back, Sethling here, and today I'm joined by Good Boulderfist or Good. Uh, hello. Hey. And uh, and I'm just gonna show you guys my uh, my little concept for tetherball in Minecraft. This is actually really simple. What we've got here is a pig, and the pig's on a lead, and we are holding <laughs> knockback three buttons. Knockback three buttons. I, I chose buttons because they first of all everyone loves the way I say buttons. I don't know. They just love it, and uh, and also because they're not very visible when you're when you're holding them, so it kind of feels like you're just hitting the ball, you know, punching it, and uh, and you know the goal with tether ball is you pick a direction and, and you're trying to get the ball around that direction, and I'm apparently amazing at this. Yeah, uh, you're destroying <laughs> me at this. <laughs> it doesn't hurt that it, I have a local connection to the server and Hewitt is on the other side of the country, but. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so so it's just really simple. Now the thing is with with normal tether ball, as you wrap as you wrap the ball around the thing, uh, the you know the rope kind of gets wrapped around, and so you can tell who's winning because the rope basically keeps track of how many times you've gotten it around. Now with this one, that's not true because Minecraft physics. So I'd recommend if you want to play this game in you know a tournament setting very seriously, you have somebody just sit at the top and keep track of how many times. The, the pig's gone around clockwise or counterclockwise and keep score that way. I actually tried to do something to detect it automatically with command blocks and tripwires and stuff, but it was just the, the, the redstone timing was too difficult. It's, it's just not sensitive enough. So, uh, uh, <clears throat> but yeah, this is my, uh, <laughs> this is my little <laughs> concept for tetherball. You can, you can download this little world from the link in the video description with all the, the knockback buttons. The pig has resistance five, so... That's why he's not taking any damage when we hit him or, or when he falls. And he's just, you know, tied to this post. That's it. Very simple. Uh, well, thanks, Gude, for helping me demonstrate this. Yeah, no problem. Cool game. And, and, uh, and thanks for watching.